Hey guys and welcome to Wars of Scale. So I will probably get a lot of hate for this video <laughs> since a, it is a controversial topic. But and I want to preface uh, the video saying that I think that Ahrefs is a fantastic keyword research tool. I've used Ahrefs for years and years and it is the best keyword research tool and the absolute leader. But and this is a big but, and this is a big assumption on my part, but still, I think that ChatGPT and Google are the best choices for a beginner blogger or a blogger with a low budget. So before I continue, I would like to make a point why I think that ChatGPT prevails over Ahrefs. And the first reason is going to be fairly self-explanatory, which is the pricing. Ahrefs is very expensive and for the 99 USD you get a very limited functionality. So you need to be paying at least 200 USD per month and this is very expensive and so you might be better off spending that much money on content creation. So the pricing is the first reason why I think ChatGPT prevails since ChatGPT is free or at least it's very inexpensive for the pro version. The second reason is in the realm of keyword difficulty. Ahrefs uses a very simple method of calculating keyword difficulty or KD. So they basically looking at the backlinking profile and the referring domains. So if a keyword has an, an a URL that uses that keyword has a lot of referring domains behind it, the keyword difficulty is very high. And the opposite is true when uh, there are very little uh, referring domains then a Ahrefs assumes that that keyword is not very competitive. And just as an example, I pulled out a keyword, which is can dogs eat lychee? It has a KD of zero and a monthly volume of 700. But if we go to the SERPs, we see this unsettling picture here. Uh, the first place is occupied by a domain with domain rating of 71, which is fairly high, which is very high rather. Then we have people also ask section, where, which when expanded actually will lead to you losing a lot of traffic because people will go down this rabbit hole and they will not go back to your URL in most of the cases. Number two is the domain with DA of 28, 53, 77. So, and these are very big names in the dog niche. Dog time, for example, is a very large website with a DA of 77, as I said. So as we can see, zero KD does not always mean less competition. And sometimes actually the opposite is true. Since many people have access to Ahrefs, they will filter the keywords down by KD. They will see those zero competition keywords. They will start pumping out the content and that keyword becomes extremely competitive. The third reason is the whole concept of keyword research. And I would like to ask you one question. What is the one common denominator of all the keyword research tools on the market? Ahrefs, SEMrush uh, being the leaders. And in my opinion, at least, the common denominator is twofold. So first off, all the current keyword research tools, at least the major ones, are based on the historical data. So these are the search terms that have been used in the past. And everybody knows about them by proxy. And they all provide a very similar list of keywords to everyone. So if you were to use SEMrush and Ahrefs, yes, they are different tools, but you're more likely to end up with a very similar list of keywords. And the fourth reason has to do with additional features of ChatGPT. So we can argue that keyword research is the main purpose of Ahrefs and ChatGPT is not built for keyword research, even though I think that ChatGPT plus keyword, Google's Keyword Planner is the best keyword SEO combo. But let's just say for the sake of the argument that ChatGPT is not a keyword research tool in the uh, original sense, but ChatGPT can do ideation, it does clustering, it can help you with interlinking. It obviously can help you with writing, SEO optimization. 
And now I would like to demonstrate my points of ChatGPT being a very solid keyword research tool that can return very surprising results. And this list of the prompts together with the other ones is in my ChatGPT prompt library that is available to patrons. But yeah, let's go over these prompts one by one. The first one has to do with questions and this is one of my favorite prompts. So what I'll do, I'll go to ChatGPT, I'll paste it over. We are going to be using my favorite uh, CanDocs Eat Bananas example. And this is a chain prompt, meaning that it's going to do several things at once. But this is a very simple prompt in its design. So it basically asks ChatGPT to generate 20 questions related to CanDocs Eat Bananas. Then it will repeat this process the second time and the third time. And finally, step four is basically a digest of uh, the previous three iterations minus the overlaps and similar keywords. So basically during the step four, you'll get the ultimate list of keywords regarding the topic. And I'll just say more. And as we can see, there are lots of keywords already like can dogs eat banana pancakes? Can bananas cause seizures in dogs? Can bananas cause fever? Can dogs eat banana popsicles? And many of these questions have not been answered, not been targeted since they are not part of Ahrefs or SEMrush. This is purely AI talking and assuming things, but we still want to validate those keywords. So say I want to look at these 10 here. Then what I'll do, I'll go to the Keywords Planner by Google, which is a free tool. I'll paste this over. I'll press Get Results. And the beauty of this is that not only do I get results for the keywords that I have provided, and as we can see, Keyword Planner have recognized four of the 10 keywords as valid keywords, but it will also give me suggestions. And we can see that one of the keywords, uh, can dogs eat banana muffins, is actually trending. It is low competition. So this one is a very interesting keyword to cover. Can dogs have banana pudding? Can dogs eat bananas, nut muffins? So these are low competition, high volume keywords again. And some of the keywords that uh, ChatGPT generated, so they have very little search volume. But still, uh, a keyword like can bananas cause vomiting in dogs, I promise you this will have some search volume behind it because it makes sense. As well as can, dog, can dogs eat banana smoothies, this is something that I'm sure is asked from time to time. So as you can see, we just went from one seed keyword, which is can dogs eat bananas. We asked ChatGPT to generate three sets of keywords. We have chosen the best ones. And we just validated them with Google's Keyword Planner. And you do this in iterations. So you copy and paste 10 keywords from the original list, then another 10, and then another 10. And again, the beauty of the Keyword Planner is that for every keyword that you have inserted, uh, it will give you ideas as well. So you will end up with a pretty big list of keywords. And that was method number one as far as keyword research goes. Let's go back to ChatGPT. So the second method has to do with topics. Let's just say we want to generate 10 articles ideas that are highly semantically relevant to crypto mining. So our seed keyword here will be crypto mining and they all look very good. The environmental impact, the beginner's guide, the security risks, the economics of crypto mining, but uh, we still want to validate it uh, with uh, the keyword planner. So we can run the second command, which is extract long tail keywords from the above. So what ChatGPT did is basically strip the titles down to the exact keywords and the process is the same. We'll go to the keyword planner. We'll insert the 10 keywords. We'll press get results. And again, as we can see, some very high volume keywords like crypto mining energy consumption. It is trending down, but it is low competition. And if you know crypto, it is a very competitive niche. Environmental impact of crypto mining, again, low competition, which is good. And these are the ideas that came with uh, those uh, 10 keywords. As we can see, that there are a lot of 100 to 1000 
volume keywords which are low competition and there is a whole list of these keywords here so lots and lots of keywords with low competition electricity used by crypto mining crypto energy consumption yeah so this is very good so if you were to to write on crypto mining you would just use this list to basically create a topical cluster and talk about everything from energy consumption to environmental impact to economics and uh, this and that. Another ChatGPT prompt that I like to use is very simple. Generate a list of 50 long tail keywords about earning money for moms at home. So the seed keyword would be earning money for moms at home. And we have lots and lots and lots of good keywords here. I can see it already. So if you were to run a blog on earning money for moms at home, this would be sufficient to actually almost exhaust the cluster. But let's just check the first 10. Go back to Keyword Planner, paste it over, get results. And look at that. Low competition, low competition, low competition. And we have lots of keyword ideas with, with very high volumes. So work from home mom. Jobs for stay-at-home moms 2020, which we can easily switch to 2023. Careers for stay-at-home moms. So stay-at-home moms is a seed keyword, which we can play around with. Jobs for moms with no experience, a very good keyword. Jobs for homeschool moms. So as you can see, we can do a lot with this list here. And this list already contains almost 500 keyword variations. And we only took 10 keywords from the 50 that ChatGPT initially generated. So this is huge. For the next method, say I have a niche, which I think I have exhausted. So this is an example of a niche that talks about being underpaid and pay raises and so on and so forth. So the prompt that we can run is as follows. Take a look at the below keywords and suggest additional highly relevant keywords that are missing. And we get a bunch of new keywords that do not overlap with the previous ones. And they are all very long tail. How to ask for a retroactive raise. How to negotiate a fair salary for a new job. How to handle rejected raise request. How to calculate the percentage increase of a pay rate. So these are all very relevant keywords here with which we can use. Another method that I love is just to find uh, a competitive website's uh, sitemap or your sitemap. So let's just say, let's just assume that our sitemap is this one here. So we can copy everything here. We'll paste it over. As far as I can say, a lot of information about dogs and cats. So let's just say we're interested in dogs only. So we'll filter these down by the dogs. So we got 199 keywords in return. So these are our, our URLs that act as keywords as well. And the prompt is very simple once again, which is Take a look at the below URL list and suggest additional highly relevant keywords that are missing. And how to help a senior dog age gracefully, how to administer medication to dogs. And these are all very good suggestions. We could have just uh, typed more and we would have gotten more suggestions. But let's just validate some of these keywords through the Keyword Planner. And as we can see, there are a lot of keyword ideas that came as a result of this exercise, like how to fly with a dog, very low competition, high volume, how to take a dog on a plane, how to bring a dog on a plane, how to dogs travel on planes. And this is a whole sub niche that came from this keyword here, how to travel with a dog. So you can take your sitemap, you can take your, the sitemap of your competitors and basically get an unlimited amount of keywords that are low competition, high search volume. Last but not least, we are talking about topical authority and clustering, and this is one of my favorite prompts, which we'll do for crypto mining. So we'll basically ask ChatGPT to create the whole cluster for us, which is gonna be divided into main topic, category, and subcategory. So we can see that crypto mining can talk about technology, and when it comes to technology, we are talking about hardware, software, pools, rigs, mining farms. There is a finance facet to the cryptocurrency, 
which has to do with profitability, taxation, investment, energy consumption, carbon footprint, cybersecurity. So this is very, very, very valuable. Pools, energy consumption, regulations, trends, supply chain. So basically the whole lot. Again, to sum up, these are some of the more valuable methods of keyword research through ChatGPT and Google Keyword Planner. We can ask questions, we can generate topics, long tail keywords, we can fill the missing links when it comes to the seed keyword or seed keywords, uh, sitemaps, we can cluster the keywords from scratch or we can ask ChatGPT to cluster the existing bunch of the keywords. And again, all of these are gonna be in our ChatGPT prompt library that you can access. And yeah, hopefully this video was helpful. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.